from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. We're making get them tapas, those little Spanish treats that you cannot get enough of. All right, first though, Al, you got to check out the weather for us. This morning on Today's Kitchen, hot chef Josh DeKellis. He's traveled from France to Singapore and Spain to learn about some of the great cuisines of the world. This morning he's focusing on tapas. And Josh DeKellis is the executive chef of La Fonda del Sol restaurant here in New York City. Good Josh, pronunciation, Alan. Well, like thank it. you. Well, we try every now and then. So, so what is it about tapas? that they, they seem to be so hot right now. Because it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's casual. It's fun. It's very conducive to socialization. Everybody can share and experience a whole wide range of taste in one sitting. And you're making this uh, La Plancha? A La Plancha. So what I wanted to do is... I what is La Plancha? To, I wanted to show everyone. La Plancha is a very uh, common cooking tool in Spain. Uh, they cook essentially what we would call a griddle. They cook uh, a La Plancha. Mm -hmm. And what I like to do is take these, take these grill pans mm -hmm. that you can get at basically any big box store, just reverse them and they all have a griddle here. And what you have is an instant plancha. And why is the plancha so great? Why is the plancha so great? Well, you can cook a lot of different things at the same time. What are we and, making here? And these are scallops, and you can also cook with a very little fat. So oh, you just so take it's a little. Kind of healthy. It's very healthy. And they're healthy. little bites too, right? That's right, and you can have a whole bunch. So you got a scallop. So what we have is scallop, and potato, oh. and these kind of caramelize very lightly. We're mm -hmm. going to let these caramelize and come back to them. Okay. I'm going to show you a few things to do. We're going to do seafood. Here we have fresh asparagus, very right. in season. Yes. And we've coated this or wrapped this with the uh, jamon serrano. It's very easy. You take three large pieces or four if you want to make a bigger entree size. Mm -hmm. And then you just sort and of... These the, the, the asparagus already cooked? I do. I blanch these for about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the uh, jamon gets too crisp ah. and it becomes uh, unpalatable. You don't really enjoy it. You simply wrap that up in a nice bundle. Right. And what's great about these is you can rock these ahead of time for your barbecue. And, and you, you just keep you just keep turning them. I like to do three because it gives you three very distinct sides, and it's very very hard to mess up. Ah. And so you get really nice sides. And then what are we doing right here? This guy here is my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. oh, this is uh, we call this uh, the Spaniards call this churrasco or carne asado. This is uh, any kind of grilled or charred beef. This here is a mixture of pimenton de la vera. Mm -hmm. It's uh, smoked paprika. Find it everywhere in, in Spain. It comes from La Mancha. And we coat it, and this is essentially our blackening spice. Oh, oh Al. Here. There you go. All right. All right, this one we can live with. We can, yeah. We can live with it. We can live with it. Maybe we can get the uh, the mentalist in here to work something <laughs> Try out. To move. We should have gotten him to <laughs> levitate the scallop. Keep him away from my well, knife, guys, though. What do I we don't got want this so all let's, bent let's, up. Uh, let's finish this up back here. All right, let's check this out. So. Once the, uh, once the beef is all done, mm -hmm. we just sort of let it rest and we very simply slice this. And what's great about this is you can make this an entree size salad or you can make it a tapas size portion, which we like to do here. At the restaurant, we serve this guy up with a little bit Whoa, of mojo rojo. What's oh, happening, mojo guys? Mojo rojo! Oh. That's right, all the fun things to say. And we serve that we up with a little tapas. patate aioli. Here we have our finished asparagus. And I like to dress this with some of the great Spanish olive oil. And Josh, what's this bread here? This is called pan con tomate. You mm. find this in every single tapas bar in Spain. It's Especially so Barcelona, simple. Especially Barcelona, they really it's, love it like that, right? It, it's, yeah. it's just too great. Yeah. Mm. I should have done three, what that was I thinking? That is fantastic. Josh yeah. Tekelis, thank mm. you so much. Coming thank up, you. Jenna? Yes, Kathy Lee and Hoda reveal the results of their on-the-road <laughs> ambulance makeover. Plus, Sinbad stops by, but first, your local news.